background check on me? She's like, yeah. She's like, I'm, I'm feeling you. I'm digging you. I need to know who I'm dealing with. I said, okay. I said, ain't, ain't nothing on there like that I'm embarrassed about. I was like, like I shouldn't have done these things. But I was a young man. I said, but it's nothing uh, against humanity. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been with no child. I ain't took nothing from no woman. I ain't been with no animal. Uh, I ain't been with no man. Not like these are hustling charges, and uh, I was just shocked, man. I was like, man, you you did that? She's like, yeah. I need to know who I'm dealing with. I said, why didn't you just ask me? I can I I would have told you about my past. Uh, I would have told you. Now, at the time, I was like 32. So I hadn't gotten to any trouble in about, man, probably probably nine or 10 years at that point. And so this stuff isn't on my mind. And it's not like I'm a felon, you know. So this stuff isn't like just on my mind. And I'm not even digging her like that to even have that discussion. But if she would have asked, I openly told her. So I was like, man, say, man, you, you tripping, man. This is a conversation you could have just come to me about if it's that serious. She's like, I just I just wanted you to know I did this. I was like, man, you 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 in violation, man. I said, this is it. I said, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, this is it. Now, brothers, I don't even know really what her purpose was of doing that because she wanted a relationship still. So this didn't deter her from wanting a relationship. But like I said, man, these these are just hustling charges, right? Not proud of them, but it is what it is. So um, she still wanted a relationship, but she was so delusional, man, that she saw nothing wrong with the way she did that. And then she had the audacity, the arrogance to present this to me. And then thought we were going to still have a relationship. I was like, wow, man. And uh, listen, man, that just let me know a lot, a lot about women, man. Um, and she's not, she's not much different than most women. I won't say all, but most women have a sense of entitlement. Most women are delusional and thinks everything, uh, they think everything revolves around them. And they, uh, you know, they live in their own world, man, a lot of times. <clears throat> you know, just the way they approach things. <clears throat> It's just, it's wild to me sometimes, man. And so as a man, you can't operate on uh, their frequency, man. You got to stay, stay solid. You got to stay orderly, focused. But never vibrate or operate your life on the frequency of a woman, on the frequency of femininity. Never. Um, so I cut it off. I told her right then, I said, hey, man, don't don't contact me. So I left, and she's hollering my name for me to come back. So, man, I get in my vehicle, man, I go back. Like I said, man, we stayed maybe an hour away from one another. But I go back. Man, I'm in my place. I'm in my place about 10 minutes. And she's calling me, texting, calling. I'm not responding. So she finally texts me, I'm outside of your place. I'm like, what? So man, I look through the blinds. Bro, she has followed me. She must have got ready or got dressed very fast and hit those streets right after I left. And she came to my place. Bro, I have never invited her to my place. But the background check gave her access to my address. She came to my place, uninvited. So I call her. 
I'm inside. I called her. I said, man, what, what are you doing outside of my place? You need to come talk to me. I'm not leaving until you talk to me. I said, listen, it's done. We, we're over. Like, move on. And, uh, yeah, man, she threatened to come knock on my door. She said she wasn't leaving. So finally I said, hey, man, meeting up at the spot where we met. Because the spot where we met was in my neighborhood. Meet me at the spot where we met, and I'd be up there. She goes up there, man. She's texting, calling me. I never showed up. Never showed up. I actually left. Went somewhere else, man. And... uh that was the last I heard from her. But uh, that let me know something. Although she had this arrogance, although she had this pompous attitude and she would always highlight her rides, her vehicles, her home, the friends she had, the money they had acquired. At the end of the day, She's a woman. At the end of the day, she's led by emotion. At the end of the day, she's chasing and shows up to a man's house uninvited who has less than her. At the end of the day, I'm still the mother man and she's the woman. So all that stuff, man, doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, man, when you strip all this, this materialistic stuff, you strip all the super, superficial things, and we're left naked. And when I say naked, nothing covering us, no, no superficial things, no materialistic things covering us and hiding who we are. I'm still me. And you're going to be you. I'm still a man. You're still a woman. You still want my love and attention. I still want your respect. If I can't get your respect, I'm cutting it off. Period. I don't care what you have. If I can't get your respect, if you don't respect me, I'm cutting it off. Bruh. I was 32, man, I don't know, 32, 33 at the time, man. I needed those resources she had, but I was not willing to sacrifice my manhood, my masculinity, my respect for it. Man, she could kick rocks. And that's no disrespect to her. She just happened to be in that place at that time. But that goes, that would have went for any woman in that position. So it's not personal. That's for any woman that was in that position. I was not willing to sell my soul. So what did I learn? Man, we make things complicated, but really it's simple. Really it's simple, man. It goes back to tradition, really. Uh, the essence of man, the essence of woman love and respect man wants respect woman wants love and the sacrifices is going to take for both parties to come together to come together in harmony it doesn't change we create these other things to make things complicated to cover up deficiencies we have we do that But it's simple. We make it hard. So, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. I left some things out, you know, to keep it respectful. Uh, first to myself, then to my wife, and then to that that, that woman. Because uh, this is not to, to uh, you know, pick on her, uh, you know, humiliate her or anything like that. This is a lesson. Uh, what I learned, hopefully she learned something from it. Um, but I definitely learned something from it. 
And uh, yeah, I wish that that, that lady, uh, that woman well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. As usual, from me to you, love, peace.